you know, we've reached that time of year here in February where most people who made a New Year's resolution have already given up on that goal. I quit. I quit. <laughs> uh, they've thrown in the towel. They've quit. It was too hard. Maybe they wanted to uh, save some money for a trip or, or get debt free this year. But as they've gone through it now, their wife is already tired of cooking at home every meal. Uh, it's been just the pain was too great and they've given up on this goal. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. In fact, statistics say that 92% of people who make a New Year's resolution, they will not keep that resolution. But what about the 8% that do? And could you be part of that 8% that actually achieve their goals, that see their dreams become reality? Well, I believe it's possible for you to do that. And especially when you have three key factors working in your favor. That number one, when you have a goal, when you have a dream, you can see the vision. You have clarity. Here is what I'm trying to accomplish and here is why I'm trying to accomplish it. I know the why behind. Here's why I want to be debt free because I want to be able to take care of my family. I want to be able to be generous and share with others as I have been blessed. I see the vision. I know the why behind this goal. That's the first ingredient. See the vision. And then the second ingredient is you build the stairway. These are the steps that are going to make it possible for you to achieve that goal, to have that vision become reality. And so you make your plan. And so for instance, if your plan is to, to be able to be debt free, okay, we're making a budget. We have a plan every month that we know every dollar that we make, it's got a place where it's going to go. We're putting that dollar to work. get that paycheck, we execute that plan. We, we see the vision, we know the why of what we're trying to accomplish, and we build the stairway. Here's the steps we're taking to make this dream a reality. And then the third thing, your core values. Identifying your core values and staying true to your core values, because your core values make you who you are as a person. That's what you are authentically you because you live by your values. And when you have your values lined up, that we're gonna live like no one else, so later we can give like no one else, then that helps you build that stairway, take those steps, and see that vision become reality. I really believe you can be part of the 8% who do make their goals happen, who see those dreams become reality. If you have that clarity, you see the vision, you know your why, build the steps, stay true to your core values. And so when you think about setting goals for your finances, do you want to be debt free? Do you want to be in a place where you can be generous and help others? I believe it's possible. Let me know if you'd like some help making your plan, helping you to see here's what a vision can be for my life, and also identifying those core values that help us stay true to what God has called us to do. I'm always gonna love you no matter what. No matter what happens. So. Go out there. I'm proud of you. You can do it. Have a good weekend.